So Rob and I went to play CD for Rick and just get comments. So the general spirit of the meeting was super positive. He was really excited about everything. The first one we're gonna to listen to, it's iridescent. I don't know if you guys heard this, but there's now drums on it. The drums are really cool. They just kind of get redundant after a little while, but there's something about what's going on right here that's fucking cool. How are you guys reacting to me singing the verse and Chester singing the chorus? Did that feel like it should just be Chester? It feel, doesn't feel cohesive to me. It doesn't feel cohesive, that's what I was wondering. I like to hear it both ways. Yeah, I'm sure they be it. It's definitely Chester in the choruses. And I, my, I liked singing the harmony of the the harmony on the chorus for sure. I, I like think, I, I think that I think that, that can work as long as it feels it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. What are sounds that we can bring in that's not something that we would do on this kind of song? Like something you know, because there's like kinda of like the bag of tricks that kinda of can parkinize it. Yeah. Like gonna, park it. Yeah. This is the best incarnation so far of the guitar solo and definitely think it's a really cool option however having this now i think we could still try something that's like more creative okay so rick's comments said he thinks the underlying song is great he thinks the overall dynamic concept we have now is working but the way that the song gets loud especially the intro is too ordinary and that we should use this sketch but make every sound in the song interesting. He says he's not married to any of the existing sounds in the song, particularly the loud moments should be loud in Joe's what you were saying, like an unexpected way, a way that feels new. 